Hey guys and welcome to this video tutorial on the C programming language. So in this tutorial we want to create a recursive logarithm function. So let's go ahead and get started. So first I'm going to create a description for the program and of course again the description for this program is this is a recursive logarithmic logarithmic uh, program. Okay, so next up what we're going to do is we're going to include our stdio.h library and then we're going to create our main function and then I'm going to return zero for uh, uh, showing us that that the program ran successfully and I misspelled return. There we go. All right, so now let's go ahead and create our function. So I'm going to declare the recursive log function. And to make it simple, it's just going to return an integer value. I know that logarithms um, return doubles and floats. But to make it really simple for us, it's just going to return an integer value. And I'm going to call it log. Well, how about just LG for log? because there's already a LOG function, I believe. So we're going to use LG for log. And then log will take in a base, because every logarithm has a base. Either it's base 10, base 2, base 3, base 5, something like that. And then it's going to take in a value uh, that I'm going to call val. So it's going to take in an integer value specifically um, and a integer base. OK? So this function will return something like a uh, log base 2 of 8 would return 3 where the 2 is our base and the 8 is our value or val so let's go ahead and actually create this recursive function Okay, so every recursive function needs a base case. So let's think of a base case. Um, now, in uh, a logarithm, right? So if we had log base 2 of 1, we get 0. And since we're only dealing with integers here, I think that would be a good base case to go with. So we'll put if our value is equal to 1, then we're going to just return 0. So again, 1 would be our value, 2 would be our base, and then 0 would be what the function returns. OK, now uh, we need a recursive case. So um, let's think about this here for our recursive case. What exactly does it mean? when we say log base 2 of 8 equals 3. Well, if you remember, um, the opposite of logarithms are uh, basically exponents. So this is the same thing like uh, saying 2 to the power of 3 equals 8, where 8 is our value, uh, 2 is our base, and 3 is our exponent. Right? So we're basically just returning that exponent. So what is this really saying? And it's really just saying that it's 2 times 2 times 2, or uh, 2 multiplied by itself 3 times. So we could think of it as getting the count, the number of times that the base is being multiplied um, when it comes to exponents. So when it comes to the opposite of exponents, which are logarithms, we could think of that as the number of times we can divide a value until we reach our base case, which is 1, right? So it's something like uh, the following. What I'm going to do is uh, maybe we do something like 8, 8 divided by 2, which would give us 4, and 4 um, is not equal to 1, so that's not our base case. So next up, we're going to divide 4 by 2. And let me make sure I put my comment there. Okay. 
So 4 divided by 2, and that gives me 2. And then 2 divided by 2, which gives me 1. Now, 1 again is our base case here. So we're going to return 0 in this case. All right. So what this means is that log of 2 divided by 2 is 1, right? It's log of 1. So maybe I just go ahead and put that here as well. So that is uh, very explicit. And this is log base 2. So maybe I'll put a 2 there. And we know that this also returns 0 from our function here or our base case. So now this right here would be log base 2 of um, 4 divided by 2 which is equal to uh, maybe well we want to keep a count right so this would be um, the first time that we start counting how many times we can divide uh, our value by our base so I'm gonna put a 1 here and this is what's going to be our recursive case actually so it's going to be 1, 1 is going to keep a count plus whatever the previous uh, recurrence was so that's 1 plus log of our log base 2 of 2 divided by 2 so this right here is just equals 1 plus uh, log base 2 of 1 which is 1 plus 0 which equals 1 okay and then we're just going to keep going up in this stack here and then we get uh, you know what actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this down one more okay so now this here is just log base 2 of 8 divided by 2 which equals 1 plus log base 2 of 4 divided by 2 which is just 1 plus let's see log base 4 I'm sorry log base 2 of 4 divided by 2 is equal to 1 so it's just 1 plus 1 which gives us 2 and our original um, equation or our, our original function or original value was 8 so it's log base 2 of 8 so what that means is we have 8 here uh, maybe I bring this on down one more time so we have 8 here there we go forgot the comments and this is just log base 2 of 8, which is equal to 1 plus log base 2 of 8 divided by 2, which equals 1 plus log base 2 of 8 divided by 2 is equal to 2. So that's 1 plus 2, and that's going to give us our value 3 which we want it from the very start here okay so let's run through this one more time just to make sure we understand it so um, what we're going to return here first we're going to take in our value which is 8 and then we're going to do log base 2 of 8 and we're going to check to see if uh, if 8 is the base case which is not value does not equal 1 value equals 8 so we're going to go ahead and go through our recursive case and we're going to do 1 plus whatever log base 2 of 8 divided by 2 is. So that's log of a log base 2 of 4 or log base 2 of 8 divided by 2. So we check to see if 4 is equal to our base case and it's not. So we're just going to add 1 here plus log base 2 of 4 divided by 2. And we're going to check to see if um, 4 divided by 2 which is equal to 2 is our base case and 2 does not equal our base case because 2 does not equal 1 so we're going to do 1 plus log base 2 of 2 divided by 2 
which um, 2 divided by 2 equals 1 and now our value is 1 so 1 is equal to 1 so we're going to return 0 here and that's exactly what we do and then we go back up on the stack here so then we get 0 uh, or 1 plus 0 which equals 1 and then we get uh, 1 plus 1 which equals 2 and then we get 1 plus 2 which equals 3 and 3 is our answer so I'm going to go ahead and write that here we're going to return our recursive case which is 1 plus log, oh, LG, right, log of our base with our value divided by our base. Now, of course, again, here our base is 2 in the example, but our base could really be any integer value. So this right here will do what we need it to do. Now let's go ahead and see if this program works. So I'm going to create a uh, integer value called, we'll say b for base, and this is going to equal two. And then I'm going to create an integer value for our value. I'm just going to call it value, and it's going to equal 1,024. And let's create an integer value called, or I'm sorry, an integer variable called um, answer. So we have our integer variable, I think I might have said value earlier, but it's a variable called b, we have a variable called value, and an integer variable called answer, and we're going to set this equal to our function, which is lg of our base, which is b, and our value, and then we're going to do a print statement here to the console, and we're going to say log, uh, log base percent d with value percent d equals percent d and maybe a new line and then what we're going to do is put in our base our value and our answer and you know actually I don't like it being called b so I'm just going to call it base our variable okay and let's run this and see what we get Okay, so we get log base 2 with value 1024 is 10. So 2 to the power of 10 equals 1024, which we know. And then let's try with some of the examples I've been using today, which is log base 2 of 8. And let's see if we get the value 3 for our answer. And we do. Log base 2 with value 8 is equal to 3. So that's basically it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please leave likes, any questions you have, any comments, um, concerns. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. I'll be sure to put this program in the link below in the description on the channel here. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next tutorial.